all right what's up what's up um we're gonna do a little test here with uh these lipo batteries uh i sold my bike last week so i don't have any more bike videos to upload for the current moment so i was sitting around the house board today wondering uh what i could come up with i got my old uh phantom here that i hadn't flown in a while still as much fun as it uh was when i first got it just hadn't used it in a while so um lipo batteries don't have a forever life i guess you could say um once you don't use them for a while or if you don't charge them they start to get puffy this is a uh regular phantom battery um 2200 mile at 11.1 .1 volts it's a 20c i think it's 20 cell i don't know what it stands for uh 3s battery i got some other ones in there charging but these are uh two bad batteries that i have that are fully charged or whatever charge they'll take and i saw that <clears throat> if you uh penetrate them whether it be with a drill or hammer and a nail, which is what I have, or an axe or something like that. They're supposed to catch on fire uh, pretty good. So I'm going to do my own little experiment and see what happens. See if we can see the puffiness. I have, these are, I think they're good. Uh, this is the puffiest one I found. But I can't really tell too good. Uh, but they're a little puffy. They get a little swollen, I guess you could say. So, got some other cameras set up out there. Um, I'm gonna set this one up and uh, we'll do a little test, I guess you could say. I got three different cameras. This one, the one I'm holding, my DSLR and that uh, older GoPro set up over there. So we'll have a couple different angles. Uh, from it to see what it looks like I'm trying to see if the sun's too bright I'll probably go this way and uh yeah just bear with me and uh I'm gonna get this stuff set up so I'm gonna sync these cameras and uh, we'll get started
And I think that's about it. Oh, now as you can see, I've seen them catch on fire. I don't know uh, what makes them catch on fire, but I just took an old hammer and nail to it. Oh, and uh, that's what happened. I don't really see, I didn't see too much of, I didn't see any fire actually. But uh, I guess this is what they mean when they say three cell, one, two, three. What makes it explode? I don't know. You have to look up that on your own. But pretty cool. Something to do with them besides throwing them in the trash. So, yeah. I got some more batteries to test out. So I might be doing some more and see if we can get a uh, different result. So, we'll see what happens. All right, I'm back with part two. Uh, I charged up some more batteries that weren't any good. And came up with a better idea to try to get through all three packs that are in the inside of that plastic. So I got a drill and a uh, screw. So we're going to see how this plays out. I got this one and three more to the side. So we're going to see if we can't get any of them to catch on fire. So yeah, kind of like that. Pretty cool.
up on it. That's the cool thing about the GoPros is they stand up to a lot of stuff pretty good. And last one. Cool. I think that's about all they got to offer. Clean this off a little bit. This thing's got stuff all over it. This is what happens when they're done. Find a stick. So yeah, thanks for watching. This is pretty cool. Don't try this at home.